Uh, long time no see, huh? <laughs> What's up with you, dog? Know? Yes, sir. Back home. Back at home, chilling, man. Dang, man. Like two ice cubes in an ice box. <laughs> We've been on the road, man. Yeah, man. Different guests, man. Shout out to Shaw Hutchinson, man. Go out there, go get that book, uh, Barefoot in the Boardroom. Uh, shout out to. Uh, he said it right. He said bad, Barefoot in the Boardroom, not Bedroom, man. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> I did say Bedroom last time, bro. <laughs> I don't know where my mind was, bro. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Well, uh, really good author, man, and follow her on social media, man. Yeah. Hey, shout out to One Wave North and East, our sponsors, you know what I'm saying? And we love y'all, man. That back to school bass was jumping, man. All right, good song. Hey, man, shout out to uh, the homie Chavez, man. Chavez. Yes, sir. Chavez, sure. man. Great golf event, man. Uh, the footage is up, man. Uh, let everybody know. Subscribe, bro. Go check it out on the channel. It's up, man. Shout out to our significant others for holding us down and supporting us and let us be on the road, man. Shout out to you guys as well, man. Yeah, man. Also, uh, coming up, because of Larry Gary, we have a show. We got an art event coming up September the 16th. We definitely want to post that on the end of the uh, show. You know what I'm saying? So you can see the information of the art show coming up, man. LG doing big things, man. That's going to be live, man. We got some other special guests lined up for y'all, too, man. We can't really tell y'all. Uh, some celebrities, some local uh, talent, man. It's really about to go to the public, man. Thank you for uh, helping us get the 182 yeah, subscribers, see, man. man. For the pocket. Yeah. Yo, listen. Are you going to make it? Yes, we going to make our dreams fly away. And come back to the heavens. Thank you every day. <laughs> yeah, Lord, when we pray. We ask for these things we take for granted, man. You still bring everything to light. The light is over there. Keep on pushing, dog. Keep on swimming, dog. And keep on crawling, dog. Hey, it cost the good in you is going to outweigh everything negative shooting at you. So chill, dog. We got your back if you need us for advice. BCP, yeah, we really are right. But uh, it's still so hard. DCP, the corner pocket on that pillow bar. Just chill, chill, just chill. Stand still and just chill. Don't be mad at people when you real. Stand still and just chill. Stand still. And chill. Uh -huh. Don't be mad at people when you are real. Mm. Just stand still. Stand still. And chill. Yeah. Corner pocket with yeah. box. Take DC it real. real. Hey man. DC Peter. Hey, man. Man. He is out here. I just man. had the hook, man. I like him at the verse. I was feeling that, man. I yeah. said, I ain't still in his shine, man. Like that was crazy. Man. Hey, but look, I got some more to go, man. Shoot, man. I'll let him use yeah. you, bro. I'm letting them use me, me like a tissue when you sneeze, wipe your nose. We come and do, we going to go hard. Yeah, your house how it goes. And you know it's me and Key, DCP, that corner pocket. Yeah, dog, I don't mean a ball, but we drop it all this fire every time you turn on YouTube. Like, subscribe, share on all platforms, man. You know how we do. D C D corner pocket. Hey, stand chill and I mean stand still and chill. Stand Oops. still <laughs> and just and chill. chill. Hey, don't be mad at people uh -huh. when you keep it real. Okay, just stand still hey. and chill. chill. Don't be mad at people when you keeping it real. real. Just stand still yeah. and chill. Yeah. Don't be hey, mad at people hey, when you keep hey, it real. Hey, Just stand still and chill. Hey, Don't hey, be mad at people PCP. when you keep it real. <laughs> hey, that was fire, bro. Hey, man, I got the camera plugged hey. in because we ain't missing none of these hey, questions. Man, none of them, man. None of it, man. Yeah, man. Man, it's good to be back home, yes, bro. Uh, yes, thank you guys for tuning in for another moment of the Corner DCP, Pocket. The corner we appreciate pocket. you guys, man. Please hit that like button, subscribe uh -huh. button, hit your notification bell. 
Uh, we were on the road. It's good to be back home. Yeah. Hey, man, I want to show you congratulations, man. We normally go at it about our teams, but yesterday you guys looked impressive. Oh, thank I don't you. care who the opponent was. We know we all play cupcake schedules at the right, beginning, but right. y'all look good. What did you like best that you saw from your team, bro? Uh, first of all, I want to say thank you for that, man. I appreciate that, it. Bro. Also, uh, congrats on y'all's victory as well. So we'll bro. get to that in the yeah. moment. So. Uh, so our victory, you know, Michigan Wolverines go blue hell to the victors. You know, uh, we uh, we did all right, man. Uh, our defense looked real good, man. We had mm. one play where the guy fell asleep a little bit, but it's okay. That's why he had seven because he fell asleep a little bit, but it's cool. Um, defense looked real good, man. Uh, we had some great defensive plays and stuff. People stood up for us. As far as offense, we look good too. Ronnie Bell is back, man. He did his thing. Oh, he looked good, bro. Yes, he did, man. But, Kate, I love you and everything, but, man, right now, the way that the flow of the game is going, man, is fast paced. Kate, you a game manager, and we love you, and we could use you definitely during the season, but JJ's the answer. Instant Dude. offense as soon as he came oh, in. Oh, bro. Man, like, for real, man. He's dual threat. I didn't know y'all had yeah. that dual threat. He's a five star mm -hmm. too, bro. Mm -hmm. I didn't know y'all got him. Yeah, so yeah, we gotta keep him, man. I think uh, Saturday when he starts versus Hawaii, we're gonna have way more than what twenty points in the first half. Oh, yeah. You know, we we, we could have had like sixty for real, man. Like, you know, but hey, it is what it is. But man, hey, all state, man. Um, I was more impressed with your defense. Oh bro. yeah, it was stout. It was really yeah, good, good, man. Y'all lost some people from last year, bro. Yeah. But y'all look like y'all ain't lost a step. Yeah, yeah. We had uh, a DJ Turner. Watch out for him, man. Yeah. P pick six yesterday, man. You know, so. Yeah, we did good, man. It was closer than I thought, man. Uh, and Jika got hurt. Yeah. Uh, kind of slowed it down when some other guys stepped up. But some wins are going to be ugly, man. It's just yeah. the point you got the win, man. Top ranked opponent, man. Right. Came to the big house. Marcus Freeman, homecoming, you yeah, know, yeah. guy from Dayton, so. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Speaking of homecoming, I'm sorry for cutting you off. Oh, you too, good, bro. Man. You know, I hate to say this, man, but we both got the homie on, on, on the squad, so, but uh, happy 20 year anniversary to the uh, National Champions of Ohio State 2002. Oh, thanks, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Uh, Marie Saul was there. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, they had like Joe Burrow, LeBron, them showed so up. LeBron, so, yeah. You know what I mean? So, yeah, shout out to y'all, man. Yeah, man. Hey, man. It's, it's it's good for the Big Ten when we both are good, man. Right, right. You know, looks like Michigan is making up on the come up, man. They had little little years they were off. Right. You know, we talk our smack, but like I was sports fanatic, bro. Yeah, we all are fans for different teams. I just like to see sports going really, really good, man. Right. So, you know, enough about that sports stuff, man. We have been really anticipating this, man. And me and this man has been talking. You know, we're in relationships and we've been in past and current relationships where we gain some knowledge and experience. We're not saying that we know everything. We're just voicing our opinion from our point of view. Like, we like you guys to fire up the comment section mm -hmm. if you want to add your expertise and your wisdom as well, man. We're not saying that we know everything. We're going to just keep it 1,000 with you. So we just need y'all to stand still and right. chill and keep yeah. it real. Yeah. And we're going to keep this thing moving, man. So we don't know how long we're going to be on this relationship ser uh, series. But I'm guessing like probably seven, eight part, man. We're going to try to go man. in, man. And, you know, we just thank you guys for rolling with us. And you've been asking for this. So yeah, the yeah. here, man. We touch on it on different videos, bro. Every now and then, a little five minute here, ten minutes there. Good donuts, man. These nickels. Hey, bro. <laughs> nickels sponsor us, bro. I eat only these. Nickel donuts. donuts. <laughs> I like it. He likes nickel donuts. <laughs> I literally like. I only bought those donuts, bro. Or unless hey, I got the Reese's bro. donuts, man. Yeah. Nickels donuts is slapping, bro. Man, I'm trying to eat them. I'm sorry, bro. Knock yourself out. I already <laughs> had some already, so you good. You're delicious, man. I'm sorry. So y'all been asking for this, man. We kind of touch on it, but I think we're going to go deep and we're going to be transparent about stuff too, man. Because, like, we're going to learn from this too. So, you know, relationship series DCP, sometimes we all, we all had these doubts in our relationships mm -hmm. because of decisions we have made in relationship. Like, a lot of times, issues that are in our relationship is not always that other person's fault. Sometimes we got to look at ourselves, man, and see what we cause. And so. Like, one of the points I wanted to go back to, bro, I got a lot of them, bro. We're going to just both bounce off of each mm -hmm. other. I'm learning, man, from my past and my current, and even with the past relationships, even with coworkers, just relationships, period, man. This applies to friendships, 
like family members, like people in your neighborhood, uh, you work with, your boo, married, unmarried, whatever, bro. Mm -hmm. Relationships is just that. It's got the word ship at the end of it. So we gonna get that probably later on in other parts. But right. I've learned, man, I gotta look at my partner through the lens of grace. Mm -hmm. And what I mean by that, man, it makes you stop grading them right. on a daily basis and you begin to start giving them grace. Yeah, bro. <laughs> you begin to start giving them grace, bro. And like what I mean by that is like instead of trying to point out every wrong right. that they do or when they get it wrong or they mess up, like we have a tendency sometimes like as humans and as people to point out or criticize the stuff they do wrong. Right. Like we, we magnify it. Like, you know, oh my God, the toilet seat got left up. You make that a big, huge deal and you nuke him. Mm -hmm. Or you didn't uh, cook the food right. And we nuke her, you know what I mean? And so I'm learning, bro, like, I gotta get grace, man, because like, why am I expecting perfection in a relationship when there's two imperfect people, mm -hmm. bro? Right. You know what I mean? Right. And um, <clears throat> to elaborate on that, definitely imperfect. And um, I, I'm actually, with my wife, um, I'm actually learning a lot more and uh, that I did not receive from past relationships. Wow. Um, and, um, you know, I'm like, I'm like okay, I'm just, it's, a, it's a different thing because, you know, back in the day I used to hear you, but mm. I didn't listen. But Yo, now, you just dropped it down. Can you say that again, bro? Yeah, yeah. back in the day, I didn't. I, I, I used to hear you, but I didn't listen. But, yeah, but now when my wife talks and she expresses herself in different things, even if she doesn't speak, but some of the things she does or her body movement or, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm listening now. Like if you're, something is going on, or you know what I'm saying? I'm not that artist. Hey, I'm in a good mood. He just schooled y'all young men. Mm -hmm. He said he watches yeah. her body movement. Yeah. That means he's listening without words. Yes, yeah, definitely. Because sometimes the body movement speaks way louder than words. Like, actually speak louder than words? Yeah, that's yeah. an action, you know. So, um, that's one thing I'm definitely learning. And um, actually, we um, we had a date night. Uh, what was that, Friday evening? Yeah. Yeah, and we played this card game, and it's called the... And it's like a what is it? Perfect season in the middle. It's blank, and then at the end it says "and." It's a black card. Part, you know, it's a card game and stuff. And like it has real deep questions, deep intimate questions. You know what I'm saying? Like it goes like, "Hey, um, who's your least favorite friend and why?" Or Dang. you know what I mean? To even some sexual things, where say it's for 18 and over or 21 and over on the dark. Now, I don't know if the box is here, but. <laughs> <laughs> but but yeah, but um, that's what things that she was calling out for, and you know, and I should have initiated, but she actually initiated while I was at work. Like, hey, listen, we go off work, me and you, I'll slide on the patio, this us, but you know, nice. just, so you gotta listen for that. That's part of the five love languages too, also. I like that when you said, uh, like back in the day, you heard, but mm -hmm. you weren't actually listening. I think sometimes, like, people don't understand that, like, when they're talking, you can zone out. Mm -hmm. Because, like, you either you're irritated, you don't want to hear what they got to say. And I'm learning too, bro. Like, you hear us say, we learning, man. Mm -hmm. That means we have not arrived, but we still right. learning. Don't like, I'm learning to listen to understand and receive instead of listening to respond. Mm. And sometimes I get that right, bro, and a lot of times I get it wrong. Right. And what I mean by listening to, like, receive is mean, like, can I repeat back what she said? And right. can I gain understanding and wisdom from what she said? Right. And versus listening to respond, meaning, all right, hurry up and get done. Mm -hmm. I need to hurry up and say what I got to mm -hmm. say. Right. Like, I don't like what you just said right now, so I need to re react real quick. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So, like, like, we have a tendency to, like, want to get even or react and get them back because they trigger something. You know what I mean? So I'm list I'm learning to give like space for grace, man. Like mm -hmm. to where, okay, she had a bad day today. Mm -hmm. Don't punish her for a bad day. Right. It's just a bad moment for a bad day. Tomorrow's coming or it may be over in an hour and 
she always says like, give me space to chill. Mm -hmm. This is so crazy, man. We just saying stand still and chill. Yeah, yeah. And like men by nature, we're fixers, bro. Mm -hmm. So like, I like to resolve stuff. I don't like to, to carry over. All right. And so sometimes I make it worse because by nature I'm a fixer and I try to make it resolve, but mm -hmm. it needs a moment to chill. Right. Like she wants to right. chill, like chill, man. Right. You bombard right. right. me, chill. All right. And and you know what? And then the same thing too, like, ladies, this goes for you too, man. So if you see your man like doing certain things also, like you need to be like looking, hey, you know what's wrong, and like, like for instance, um, I, I mean, again, he's my wife. For example, like she knows when I'm mad, man. Like, yeah, and she knows like if she makes me mad, which <laughs> is the push to make right. it worse, <laughs> but um, she knows like when I'm mad, I had a bad day or something, and. Um, She'll, you know, get my little space or whatnot, but like, she'll let me tell, you know, MJ, like, hey, let dad chill for a hot second, you know what I'm saying? So, so yeah, you also got to learn, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, with the five love languages, you got to learn that, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I'm learning that, like, being patient and giving her the space to chill. Mm -hmm. It's like, I, I'll be like, sometimes, like, she would say, you just pounding it, man. You just, like, bombarding me with these nine, ten different things. Right. And she's like, can I just handle the one, the two, the three you just gave me? I'm still digesting and chewing on that. And I'm trying to, like, get her to chew ten things, right? Everybody's not wired the same. Like, the way I handle stuff, it's not going to be the way she handles stuff. Mm -hmm. And, like, I have to give her grace and space to operate. Right. You know what I mean? Stop grading your partner, man. Right. They're never going to make your grade. They're not right. gonna make the honor on this relationship. Like we all need that space and grace, bro. That's, so, so let me uh, throw this in there too, and also ask you a question. So you said stop grading your mate, and I just brought up something to me. Now, what do you mean by grading? Now, now here, this is what I'm saying. So, I want you to think about this, y'all too, man. Think about it. So, <clears throat> say if your significant others they cook, and you know it's nasty. Okay, so you, you, <laughs> <laughs> oh, 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 you about to get in trouble. Hey, I mean, let's, let's, let's go Yo, there, though, man. man. All right, and babe, I ain't talking about your cooking, because your food is good. Yes. Mine is, too. <laughs> Wonderful. Yeah, but, uh, Great cook. Yeah, babe, you know. Babe, <laughs> too. Uh, Great cook. So if, you, <laughs> so if you know the food is nasty, you talk doctor up, and it's still nasty, but you're sitting there in line. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so at that point, is it time to grade? Like, hey, even though you know this person might be self-conscious, like, wow, oh, this is my first time cooking, or oh, I cook all the time. Is it that a grading part, or is it a grading if somebody financially is just super not there, you know what I'm saying, and then the other person is there, and they're like, well, I'm just tired of holding it right. And what type of grading is that also? I know that's grading, but what type of grading is that also? Great question, Dave. Mm -hmm. uh, great question. I, I need y'all to hit the comments, too, man, what y'all yeah. think. For me, bro, if the food's nasty, right. that's not my time to criticize or give her a harsh grade. I think that's when you gotta have a conversation mm -hmm. and you sit down and say, hey babe, I didn't like that dish. <laughs> I, don't, I didn't like that dish. Maybe we can like get rid of that and substitute yeah. it for something yeah. else. For you know what I mean? Hey babe, that wasn't really that good. You know what I mean? Instead of like, hey man, you are horrible in the kitchen, yeah. bro. Like, well, I, you cannot cook, bro. Like, well, it's I'll terrible. You, I'll tell you a true story because me and the ex. Uh, uh oh. Ooh. Hold on, hold on. Uh oh. We got that gym. Hold on. Bing. <laughs> she, like, we just heard, instead of criticizing what was badly done, how about you teach them yeah. to make it better? So, if the mac and cheese is not to your liking, how about make the mac and cheese with them? Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, you always, Whoa! Yeah, it's always make you know it's always fun to kitchen cooking together. You know what I'm saying? There, so anyway. I gotta take a sip of water that. But <laughs> and then you also were saying, like, if they're not where you are financially, right? Or, or even emotionally, or your thing. Because sometimes you can be there weak emotionally, and the other part be there strong emotion. It's yeah. like yeah, I need somebody strong. You know. So. I got checked on this part, man, when I was talking to a partner. I don't think like she thinks, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to respond the way she responds. She's not going to respond the way I respond, mm -hmm. but we have to give each other that room to respond in our different ways respectfully. All right. So like, I may not yell and scream, she may do it a little bit. Mm -hmm. Is it my right to judge and criticize because that's the way she expresses herself? All right. So I'm learning to like give her that space to within reason to be respectful to 
show her how she responds. Right. And then in return, she allows me to respond my way. It's two different things. It's like, you know, trying to come together and bringing our, both of our worlds together to make one. Right. You know what I mean? I got to understand her past experiences. I got to understand stuff she has went through in her childhood to this point. And all that plays a role. Like, we don't like to go back and look at the root. Like, dang, how did they become this person? Mm -hmm. What did they go through? And with communication, you find out, like, dang, maybe your spouse was yelled at when they were younger or abused from a past relationship or maybe they were talked to some type of way and that might trigger them and so if you know that you kind of walk a little bit easier instead of on a a, a ground full of minds because like if i know like this the ex used to scream and yell call her out her name Mm -hmm. or force her to do things in an explicit manner then i know in my mind like dude Yelling at her is not going to get it. Right. Like, right. cussing at her is not going to get it. Screaming at her is not going to get it. Mm-hmm. And so I have to realize, like, I got to take a different approach. Like, everybody don't respond and, and take in the wisdom, like, the way me and you may take it in. Like, you may respond to screaming. I may not respond to screaming. She may respond to quietness. I may not respond to quietness. Right. So it's like trying to figure out that balance. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like... Like you said, bro, you watch your wife movements and her body movements. You got to study your spouse, man. Study your partner. Yeah, definitely got to study your partner. And, uh, <clears throat> and and like one thing we keep stressing is over and over and over, but you got to do it. And then like, and I, I got to do it myself also. Bro. So we're, we're, not, we're not perfect, we're imperfect. Um, so communication, like seriously, communication. Like, and that begins with anybody, like, you know, your your friends, your co-workers, your neighbors, I mean, if, if y'all speak, communication, man, like, it's that simple, it sounds so simple, but it is hard, you know what I'm saying, because it is hard to talk to people at certain times, it's very hard, especially if, like, if you can't, uh, like me sometimes, I, I kind of mumble my words or my thoughts kind of go faster than what I'm actually speaking, so you know what I'm saying, so like, right now I got this beat cool and slow and talk that steady piece you can understand what I'm saying so you know what I'm saying like right now you know um, or I, what I'm saying was um, we're talking about and the thing is uh, you know talk about it all the time and how we're um, not perfect because we are definitely imperfect but uh, communication you know what I'm saying that goes with anything um, so you know, like, like I was saying even communication that when you're at work or you're playing basketball at the gym or at the grocery store, man, like, communication is key, you know, and um, <clears throat> and sometimes you gotta just, you know, if you think something's gonna hurt somebody's feelings, I mean, it, it probably will, but wow. you feel much better when you just come in real, like the song we were saying, keep it real, you know what I mean, don't be fake and try to baby or pacify nobody's feelings, no, if you want to get your point across, but in a respectful way, but also you want them to understand it, it might cause some hurt feelings. It just might, but that's gonna make you stronger and make you better. And know that, okay, this right here, this person keeps telling me that is doing this. Yeah. Damn. yeah. Let me stop doing that. Let me work on this so that you can become a better person. Or just not that. Just keep the peace between you and your significant other, or wherever you're at. You know, at that time during your life. Man, I'd rather you hurt me and sting me with the truth than hurt and sting me with a lie. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, like. The truth you can kind of digest and recover from a lie that takes some time that 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 kills the trust. All right, you know what I mean. If she's like, "Hey man, I really don't like when you like leave your dirty drawers in the bedroom all around. Put them in a basket." All right, like if you know that bothers her, or irritates her, she has to get the room clean. Like, what the fuck's in the basket, man? man? Especially if y'all do those things. You know, y'all know what I'm talking about. Cause y'all y'all know y'all nasty nasty butts. Look at y'all just nasty. Hey <laughs> <laughs> man, I'm gonna give y'all a tip, man. Females, y'all can take it too, but for men, like you too grown to be having doo doo stains in your drawer. Yeah, Get grown. you some man wipes. That's it. They got man wipes, bro. It keeps your booty squeaky clean <laughs> and it keeps it smelling good. That's a tip for y'all, bro. <laughs> yeah, it's like that little commercial with cotton nail when the dad come in. Yeah, bro. I'm telling you, bro. Like they got man wipes. <laughs> they got female wipes too, man. Like I'm telling you, bro. Like man, man. Another point, bro. Your partner needs you to believe in them. Mm. Mm. You know, sometimes the only cheerleader we have is them, bro. 
Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it's hard to get booed out in the world, mm. and then you come home and get booed, man. Man, and what it, you said. It's man. hard to like share your dreams with strangers and friends and coworkers or family, and they believe in you more than the, the person you're with, man. Mm. And it's like, you know, we have to make sure that we make home our safe space, bro. Like, your wife, my significant other should be our biggest cheerleaders, bro. Mm. Like, I should be her biggest cheerleader. You should be your wife's biggest mm -hmm. cheerleader. Like, she should not have to go outside to get validation or right. Her, right. to get compliments from a total stranger mm -hmm. that you should be doing. Like, you, you should be telling your wife she's sexy. I should be telling my uh, significant other, like, she's fine, she's beautiful, mm -hmm. she's gorgeous, she's smart, she's intelligent, you can do it, babe, I got your back. Like, nobody else should be doing that. It's cool if somebody else is doing that, but I'm just saying, right. We shouldn't be neglecting them and allowing somebody else to feel the need because the old saying I had an old pastor that would tell me like, what you gonna do, somebody else will. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you ain't cheering your partner on, somebody else is going to cheer them on. And that's when you allow temptation to creep in, bro. Yeah. That's snake in the garden, man. On to the show topic, man. If you really read that story about Eve, the reason why Eve got trapped, Eve was listening to the snake. And in that story, they knew that, you know, God had told Adam, mm -hmm. not trying to be churchy with y'all, but God had told Adam, don't eat the fruit. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure Adam relayed the message to Eve. Right. But then Eve got, was talking to the serpent at the tree, like, hey, eat this fruit. And she wound up eating it. And then in return, she gave something to Adam and he ate it. So the moral of the story is a lot of people like to blame Eve for what happened. But realistically, if you read the story correctly, Adam was standing right there when it happened. Mm -hmm. So he allowed his partner to be bamboozled and to be swindled, right. standing right there watching. Right. Men, this is for y'all, bro. It's up to us to lead our homes, to be there for our partners, bro. We are called to leadership. This is not an oats. I don't know where this came from. We're called to leadership. And sometimes we are allowing the enemy or the world to destroy our women. And we're standing right there not saying nothing. And in that story, bro, like, it says she gave Adam some fruit. He knew better. He got the first instruction. And then he told her, so why are you going to stand there and let your girl get bad bougie? Right. Why would you allow the enemy to creep into your home? If you know negativity is at your doorstep, mm -hmm. if you know negative people is at your doorstep, if you have negative friendships at your doorstep, why are you allowing your home to come in contact with that? You know what I mean? And, uh, but back on that that uh, topic, man, cheer your partner on, man. Mm -hmm. Cheer them on. Believe in them, man. Definitely. I, 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 I cheer my wife on. She cheered me on. And stuff, and it's a beautiful thing. How does it make you... <laughs> so, I ask you a question. You ask me a question, man. How does it make you feel when your wife does cheer you on or believe in you? How does that make you feel as a man? Me, personally? Yeah. Because <clears throat> I never really had anybody even cheer me on, for real. That meant it. Wow. Yeah. And meant it so yeah so uh knowing that i know she means it and truly means it yeah it's a remarkable feeling it's remarkable like it overshadows anything i've been going through or whatnot and uh it definitely keeps me pushing you know especially the situation i am in now that's about to change thank god you know uh she's still been pushing me through all of it so yeah i love it man and i you know I, it's like it's like a um a ref, uh, what do you call it you say something, it comes back to you like a, like a uh, boomerang effect. Uh, 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 yeah, so boomerang effect. I can't, I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> boomerang <laughs> effect. Boomerang. <laughs> Marcus <laughs> Dowling. <laughs> 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 I'm not wearing <laughs> anti. No, nope. I'm not going to go. Yeah. <laughs> but, yeah, like a, a boomerang, though, man. Like, because it, it comes back on to her. Like a ripple effect. Mm, ripple yeah, effect. Yeah, 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 that's yeah, all I was yeah. trying to say, man. But, yeah, so, uh, yeah, definitely. I love it. Man, give y'all one more little tidbit, man. This is gonna be a seven, eight part series, man. Mm -hmm. Like, we're gonna give y'all. Man, I, I believe your relationship should be a, a refilling station instead of a, a refusing station. Mm -hmm. Say that again. Your relationship should be a refilling station or refueling mm -hmm. station instead of a refusing mm -hmm. station. Man, we have to be careful about punishing our partners or our spouses for things they've done wrong. For instance, okay, he got on your nerves. Okay, she got on your nerves. And now it's bedtime. 
Now, oh, you made me mad, you get none. Oh, you off for a week or you off for two weeks, you're not getting none. Be very careful in using sex as a punishment. Very careful is very dangerous. Uh, my grandfather once said, never leave the house with your lunch pail empty. Mm. I didn't know what that meant, bro, until I was like 30. Mm. I thought it meant like pack your lunch with sandwiches, snacks, or uh, chips. He'd be saying, never allow your spouse or your partner to leave the home on empty. Mm. Like meaning empty of love, right. of sex, time, uh, compliments, all that. Never allow your spouse to leave the house empty. Allow them to leave full. All right. Because it's hard to tempt a person that has eaten steak and lobster with a four for four meal from Wendy's. Right. right. Kind of hard to like go out there a chicken head when you're used to eating filet mignon. Mm. You know what I mean? So like, mm. I'm learning, bro, that you know bad stuff is going to happen throughout the day. It's just going. It's just this is life, and this life is going to have trouble. But I'm learning to not allow a bad moment to ruin the whole entire day. Mm-hmm. It was just a bad moment, man. Right. Like, like let's reconcile, let's talk about it, and let's, you know, try to move on from it. Right. You know what I mean? So, like, I, I believe, like, when we go out to the world, like, we empty out. Mm-hmm. And so when we come home, I believe, like, our relationship is supposed to fill us back up again. We're supposed right. to fill each other back up again. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Refilling station, man. A refilling station, like not a refusing station. Like, come on, man, we're supposed to be there for one another, man. Mm-hmm. You got anything else to add to that, bro? Uh, yeah, refilling station, man. <laughs> nah, uh, <laughs> bro. yeah, definitely, man. And um, like I said, man, just listen and instead of hearing, actually listen, you know, and uh, open up your mouth and talk, you know. So, that's man, it, man, wait till wait till part two, man. Like, this listen gonna blow your mind, bro. It's it's. Really about to be crazy, man. Hopefully y'all like y'all like this, man, and like and share and subscribe to the channel, bro. It's it's just good to be back home, man. It was a relation serious part one. Mm-hmm. Please like and share and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. We love y'all, man. Hey, man, you can find us on IG the underscore corner underscore pocket TikTok the corner pocket Facebook the corner pocket. You gonna see him or me pop up, man? Or hey, we out here, man. Go share with your mama. Go share with uh, your, your daddy. Go share with Uncle Richard. Uh, Uncle Richard's <laughs> over there uh, at Kroger's playing his numbers and stuff. Oh, he's lying there. And then the service line, because IGA was closed down the street. So go ahead and tell Stanley. Stanley's the one fixing the uh, cars in the back. You got the one gold tooth, man, like the dude from Martin. The little good hair. Right? You know what I'm saying? The same hair and all, man. Make the skin. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, <laughs> hey, you know what to do, man. <laughs> Hey man, I'm, I'm serious, man. If you're tired of folks calling y'all for relationship advice, man, tell them to subscribe to the Corner Pocket. We, yeah. We're talking about it, man. We're keeping it real, man. Yeah, we're man, learning. Views, man. All points. Yeah, yeah, man. Hit that comment section, like blaze it. Yeah. Hit that like button. When you comment, hit like. Mm-hmm. It's really easy, man. And then it's, it's, it's a subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying? Subscribe it, baby. Share. BCP, where are you at? BCP, where are you at? CP, where you at? Check it. Okay, listen. A A I E M C's like the can of Pringle. Hey, you know what? CP, the corner pocket, don't we? Hey, ball. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs>